What's going on everybody? It's Joe from Swing This Kettlebell and Strength and what is the different differing opinions between hard style and kettlebell sport kettlebell? Which one's better? What can you use them for? And all sorts of different questions. So biggest thing is when someone says, I see these guys doing kettlebell sports style. That looks easy. Okay. Uh, their biggest difference is they're great for different goals, okay? So <clears throat> there's, there's handfuls of answers depending on your own personal goal. So think about this. If you're thinking about hard style or something like that, that it's tension-based. It's, it's based on producing the most amount of tension that you can for the exercise, okay? So whether it's rep 1, whether, whether it's rep 10, 15, you're producing tension and you're trying to get as much power out of utilizing those as possible. Okay? The difference about kettlebell sport, it's a sport. It's just like Olympic lifting is creating tension, creating power for one repetition. Kettlebell sport is meant for high repetitions. Okay? Kettlebell sport, if people don't know what it is, and that's usually the case if they're a person that's into hard style and then they see somebody doing kettlebell sport or gear avoid sport, it's based on how many repetitions you can get with a certain weight in a certain period of time. Traditionally, 10 minutes. There's a lot of different things out there, sprint sets, different relays and things, but it's still, it's repetition, as many reps as possible, AMRAP, 10 minutes. Okay? That's simple. So, now... Instead of tension-based for, for hard style, you have endurance-based for sport, okay? So there's strength, there's endurance, and absorption. So there's a lot more absorption going on in your movements with kettlebell sport, okay? Think of kettlebell sport as the marathon of weightlifting. Your goal is to do as many as possible in a given time, okay? So no one can sprint the marathon, but doing sprints can help you in the marathon training. Am I right? Think about this. If you're doing kettlebell sport, yes, hard style can help you. If you're doing hard style, kettlebell sport is going to be a total different challenge. Okay, You have to understand how to go back and forth between these two movements and, and differences of movements. Uh, a one-arm kettlebell sport style swing is going to be very, very different than your one-arm hard style swing, okay? So, now, we're going to get into what they can be used for. For strength, I think hard style is a wonderful way to go if you're working for a max deadlift, if you're training for Olympic lifting. Now, think about this. For strength, for power lifting and Olympic lifting, you have to understand leverage. As no one can double clean and jerk sports style without a decent amount of strength. Endurance. Something you're looking for to help you to be a better cyclist, runner, hiker, hiking the Appalachian Trail or something like that. Sport, in my opinion, is the best to do to focus on transitional tension. You're going to have less joint issues and possible less tendonitis. But you're still going to use some hard style sprints. If you're a power lifter and you're not trying to do a bunch of cardio, you know, stick with, stick with hard style and keep it the reps lower and the power up. Get the strength as much as you possibly can. Um, if your goal is longevity, I think hard style is basically power production where creating tension is the key. It may not be good to do all of the time, okay? So I'm seeing people doing these, I love doing 50 kettlebell swings every single day. Now that does not mean that I do a 106 or 100 pound kettlebell swing two handed for 50 reps every single day. I rotate between a lot of different things. I rotate between you know, a hard style swing, a very forceful power product producing swing with um, swing lunges with kettlebell swing snatches, something that you can do for a very long, sustainable time, and that's how I would train for longevity. So yeah, you can incorporate hard style in there and focus on 
that's your strength builder and your power builder. But if you're going for longevity, you're going to want to do something that you can do a lot more of, a lot more often as you age, things like that. If you're going for mobility, I think a little bit of all of it. So body movement and awareness. You could use kettlebells. It doesn't have to be a hard style. It doesn't have to be a kettlebell sport. You could use a little bit of all of it. So you could do juggling. You could do complexes. You can do any other focal based kettlebell stuff. So complexes are great because it could be a, a swing to a snatch to a Turkish get up. It could be a renegade row to something else. So what style do I do? This is what I get a lot. I've worked with so many different athletes and coaches, world champions in kettlebell sport. I'm not built like a kettlebell sport athlete. So I'm not trying to be a world champion. I know that this isn't going to happen. Now if I only focus on my mental strength and trying to be the absolute best, I can severely injure myself just by not being built or having the the frame or the reach for kettlebell sport. I value all types of training as I don't find that one style fits all. This is the beauty of kettlebells. I've even used fat bells to increase my awareness and strength. Learning different styles and different tools is absolutely wonderful. So we don't get stuck in the same thought over and over and over again. We can continue to build our brain learn new movements, we can handle different weights because life is ever changing. Kettlebell training allows me to use focus, strength, and endurance and also gives me real life skills, not just strength. It is a meditation for me of sorts. My style is my style. It's a decade of trying to figure out what works the best for my body, for my goals, and what gives me less pains and more gains. I love kettlebell sport. I find the movements fascinating. I find the fluidity of changing, adapting your form as you get more fatigued, adapting your form as your hands start to, your grip starts to fade. Um, if you tear or something, like how can you keep going without injuring yourself? The true beauty of kettlebells is it can use, be used in so many different ways. You can mix and match. You can start with 10 hard style swings. Why not go right into 20 alternating hand sports swings? And then even finish with 10 hard style swings at the end. A lot of people think that training with kettlebells are going to make them train for the circus. I've seen a lot of people training with kettlebells and Cirque du Soleil. Um, I've seen all sorts of people training awesome things with kettlebells. I think a lot of people get stuck in saying that one style is better than the other is because it may be the first style that they learned when they got hooked using kettlebell and they're very very loyal but they're stuck to that one belief of the person that taught them because it worked it worked for them for a while and most people don't want to change they don't want to try something new also kettlebell sport has a lot more movements involved so a lot of people see say a kettlebell snatch a sport snatch and they think there's a lot of wasted movement a lot of wasted energy the whole goal of kettlebell sport is to decrease the amount of energy used so you can do more and that's why I think a lot of people think that kettlebell sport people aren't strong. It's absolutely foolish to say that someone that can snatch a 40 kilogram kettlebell for five to ten minutes with only one hand switch is not strong. There is definitely not enough momentum <laughs> to generate and use to your advantage on weight such as this. 
just try snatching a 24 kilogram kettlebell for 10 minutes in a row with one hand switch and tell me if you're not stronger than you were. Of course, it's not going to build absolute maximal strength. That's the thing. But what's wonderful about trying different weights and different styles is you become more in tune with your biomechanics and your body's movement when you're trading, when you're changing and using different weights and different styles. If I'm constantly putting as heavy, as much power as I possibly can into a weight and I'm only using a 52 pound weight all the time, I have to lift heavier next. Then it's a 28 or a 32. And everyone seems to have to jump from these giant 8 kilogram increments. That's silly. You don't jump from a 40 pound dumbbell to a 70 pound dumbbell. You know, think about that. But it puts you, kettlebell sport training is very, very good because it teaches you a lot about your body. It teaches you a lot more than just producing power. It teaches you how to absorb that force, which is super important in sports. How to decelerate things. How to transition the tension. How to focus on staying in the game as you fatigue. Um, but I absolutely love kettlebell. I absolutely love hard style. I just try not to call it. I don't label it a certain thing. If you're going to generate power with two hands, you're going to swing outside of the leg kettlebells that are 28 kilograms a piece. You're going to generate some power. Okay? All in all, I really don't think that there's a better way, a certain way that kettlebells need to be trained, except the one that gets you to your goal with the least amount of injuries. Okay? And something that you can do sustainable. I've seen a lot of people adamant about hard style only or power production only with kettlebells and they only last a few years they're not focusing on other parts they're not focusing on other energy systems and they can end up wearing themselves out a lot of people think that some man brought kettlebells over to the United States and that's the only way that kettlebells should be used Kettlebells are used all over the world, and you can use them any different, any way that you want. So that's the beauty of them. So, let's stop arguing, trying to figure out which one is better, and let's use kettlebells, use fat bells. You know, if you don't believe that kettlebells are different than dumbbells and weights just a weight. I'd love to see you doing some of these exercises with double dumbbells for higher repetitions. But, um, you know, kettlebells, they're meant, they're meant to fit the body totally different. They're meant to increase your range of motion. Um, a lot of people have found the kettlebell is absolutely wonderful in helping their shoulders feel better because it provides a, a more natural range of motion versus starting out with external rotation in the shoulder and having all that uh, pressure. So anyway, whatever your thought is on kettlebell training, it's all good. Some are going to work better for certain body types and certain goals. That's it. That's all there is to it. So anyway, Joe and I'm going to really edit this video to get down to the best points and I'll talk to you soon. Swing this.